Press. Florence is here. Good Hi, morning. Um, we are, uh, there's still, of course, a lot of focus on French politics uh, this morning. The country's slimmed down fighting government uh, was finalized yesterday with the appointments of a number of junior ministers. That's right. 14 uh, secretaries of state will complement the 16 ministers in Manuel Valls's government. On top of that, Hollande has a new chief of staff. There was a shakeup at the leadership in the Socialist Party. So you can see here on the front page of Libération, they're talking about Hollande, Hollande the season two that's kicked off. He put the finishing touches on the spring cleaning he began after the municipal elections. And Libération focuses on this in their editorial, says there have been changes across the board. He's dusting off every single shelf. This is a clear signal that a new era is beginning, one where the leadership is more direct, more efficient. Libération says that Hollande is showing that he heard the message of voters that really punished the Socialist Party in those municipal uh, elections. But Libé warns the toughest part is yet to come. Now, the right-leaning uh, paper of Florence, Le Figaro, is also focusing on uh, those sweeping changes. That's right. Le Figaro says that from the uh, Élysée Palace to the Socialist Party, Hollande is reshuffling everything. But they have a, a different take on this uh, reshuffle in their editorial. They say that what uh, he's doing here is trying to restore his authority. But all these changes are also a confession that Hollande made bad choices, made major mistakes at the beginning of his presidency. His initial team lacked authority and wasn't very reactive or efficient, says uh, Le Figaro. And this spring cleaning is actually a mea culpa for the French president. Uh, now, L'Opinion, the uh, pro-business paper, is saying that Hollande is reshuffling everything but himself. Uh, and they have a great cartoon depicting uh, Hollande and Manuel Valls as Don Quixote and his sidekick Sancho Panza uh, off on their adventures. And you can see Hollande there saying, and uh, in the end, we're going to reshuffle Europe. And Manuel Valls there saying, vamos. <laughs> Now, we're a lot of focus, of course, as well uh, on that change of leadership at the Socialist Party. That's right. Uh, so Arlem Désir, who was the former uh, first secretary, is, has been moved. He's going to run the European Affairs Ministry and he'll be replaced by uh, Jean-Christophe uh, Combadélis. Now, uh, Désir didn't have a great reputation as the leader of the Socialist uh, Party. He drew a lot of criticism. A lot of people say he turned the party into an empty vessel. And now he's getting a government job, so quite a promotion for him. Uh, and this has drawn criticism not only from the right, but also from the left. You can read about it in Le Parisien. They quote a tweet, for instance, they say comes from the left party, uh, saying that promoting Désir is like appointing the class clown to be the school principal. So not very nice words coming from there. A lot of people in the Socialist Party say this was kind of the false note of this spring cleaning. But people on the right and the Green Party are also critical of his being appointed to be in charge of European affairs. Uh, they say this says a lot about Hollande's disregard for Europe. Basically, it becomes a destination for those who failed in the Socialist Party. Not a good sign. Uh, after the spring cleaning flow, of course, come the reforms. Uh, there's focus this morning uh, in La Croix. Uh, on one reform that could change the map of France itself. That's right. Now, one of the government plans is to change the way France is divided up in terms of administration, different regions, departments, etc. And you can see uh, Lacroix here. It's talking about the fact that we're going towards a new map of France. And Manuel Valls has actually already laid out uh, an ambitious plan, says Lacroix, uh, an attempt to make things more simple and to save the government some money. But he's running into a lot of resistance. You can read about it in Lacroix. Basically, a lot of regions fear that by this, this squeezing France back into a smaller regions, departments, etc., it, it'll make them lose their identity. Well, it was never going to be a, an easy reform to undertake. Finally, Le Monde focuses on scientific research uh, aimed at fighting global warming research that involves cows. Tell us more. That's right. Well, uh, this is very serious research that's being carried out in the U.S., and you can read all about it in Le Monde today. Cows are known to play a very important role in global warming. Basically, their flatulence uh, <laughs> produces methane, uh, a gas that scientists say contributes to global warming. And it's, it's, it's a kind of a ticking time bomb. Each year, one cow produces 100 kilos of methane, so a lot of gas per cow. Now, scientists are looking into solutions to reduce their production of methane, basically make their gas a little greener. And you can read all about it in uh, Le Monde. Several options are being investigated from changing what cows eat to my favorite, equipping cows with little backpacks that would capture this methane <laughs> <laughs> gas. Anyway, uh, it would make cows into little school kids, it seems to me. But you can read all about this very serious research. Very 
Sorry, sorry, uh, in sorry, 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 nothing. Headline as well, which I think translates to moo box. Moo box, <laughs> <laughs> and nothing. Very serious. Nothing to chuckle about at all. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Florence, for a look there at the international press, and Stephen for a look at the business headlines. It's twenty-five minutes past seven here in Paris. In just a moment, I'll be back with the headlines. We'll also be getting. The morning's focus will be heading to Japan this morning uh, to hear an emotional story, one of the longest serving man on death row. He's been freed after 48 years, human rights defenders say. It raises disturbing facts about Japan's criminal justice system. We'll be hearing all about that in just a moment. <laughs> 